I am following in the footsteps of young 21-year-old George Washington. Shh. I'm here in western Pennsylvania at the site of George Washington's first military engagement. This is where George Washington and a small force of Virginia militiamen and Indian allies snuck up on and ambushed a group of 40 French soldiers. And this is called Jumonville Glen because it's named after the French commander. Listen to the birds as you're walking up on this place. If you're quiet enough, no one can hear you coming. This is the perfect site for an ambush where you can strike and not be seen until the moment that you do it. Now, Washington and his men said that a Frenchman actually saw them and fired on them first, but the topography says otherwise. Here's the view that the French would have had when they were ambushed by Washington and his men, probably without that closed sign. But as you can see here, they never stood a chance. So I just looked at a plaque and there were actually 32 French soldiers here. Of those, 21 were captured and 10 were killed. And Washington's Indian allies, while he was accepting the French surrender, they scalped the dead, including the commander, Jumonville. And there was one Frenchman who escaped and he told the French what happened. And this became known as the Jumonville Affair because, of course, the French side of the story was that Washington and his men came up here and ambushed the French and attacked them unprovoked. Now, of course, Washington's men said that, well, somebody from the French camp fired at us first. And, of course, that brings us into point of view. And, of course, if we see, you know, what what they're saying, of course, the French side serves French interest and the British side serves British interest. But then when we look at the landscape here, it has all of the appearances of an ambush, if I had to guess. This is what triggered the French and Indian War. At the time, the French and the British both had claims in the Ohio River Valley, and the French and the British were both trying to defend those claims, but there was not a declared state of war. If you see something happen to the phone, I probably like fell down here or something like that. After this, the French wanted to, uh, you know, avenge themselves, and that's what led to the encounter between the French and Washington at Fort Necessity, which was also before the French and the British declared war. John! Yeah. All right, just testing out the echo. So what you see here is George Washington's first military engagement, and it was a victory. Now, a victory that started a big controversy and a war and all of that kind of stuff, but a victory nonetheless. And if you want to learn more about the French and Indian War, my friend Hip Hughes has a great video on the French and Indian War. And of course, I've got a lot of great videos on U.S. history as well. It's always a pleasure.